So I have the iliac crest that I'm going to show you uh, to start off with. So it's the front, it's this uh, part of the pelvis that's coming downward, okay? Coming downward, inward, like that, and immediately. And so you keep coming down and you're gonna reach the ASIS right here. Um, then we're going to go into the greater trochanter. Bend your knee for me, good. So she's going to rotate inward and outward. And when you rotate in, you're going to get a little bony pop right here. Good, feel that? Mm -hmm. Good, okay. So then bring your knee to your chest, grab under your knee. And there's other ways to find this, but I like going this way. So you're gonna put, um, you're gonna go run your fingers down the hamstring till you feel the boning part. So this is your sitting bone, right? Should pop out right around yeah. here. Good, okay. And uh, so for the pu uh, pubic tubercles, I'm gonna have her, Melissa, you can put your leg down. I'm gonna have her put your hands like this. Good, keep running them down from your belly button down till you feel a bony part. Mm -hmm. Good, so that's her pubic tubercles. Um, go ahead, lay on your stomach. Put the pillow underneath. Okay. Good, okay. You can lay flat. So if you go posteriorly with the iliac crest, run along the iliac crest, you're gonna find the PSIS. Um, so it's a small protrusion on the iliac crest in the posterior part of the ilium. And sometimes this can come up as dimples. Um, okay, so, so now I'm going to measure her hip extension. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so I place the pillow underneath to prevent hyperextension of the lumbar. And I'm just gonna place my hand to stop right here. Go ahead, keep your legs straight and lift up. Good, and back down. So there wasn't a lot of hyperextension and there wasn't a lot of rotation. So I'm going to go ahead and measure her active. So the axis is gonna go on the greater trochanter. The stationary arm will go uh, lateral midline to the trunk. And the movable arm is gonna go lateral midline of the femur. Okay, go ahead and lift up your leg one more time. Good, hold. All right, good, and relax. All right, so I got about 10 degrees of extension. Um, I'll try this passively. So now we're gonna scoot all the way to me, okay? Keep going, keep going. It looks like you're off the table. Good, keep this underneath your belly. Good, okay. So I'm gonna try and do this to show you. Underneath. Your leg is heavy. <laughs> there you go. Okay, good. Okay, so relax your leg down. Don't push down or anything. I'm going to try my best. I'm blocking right here on my PSI is. Oop, something cracked. <laughs> Let me stretch. Uh, yeah, that looks bad. That looks good. Okay. Coming back down. Okay, so I got about 12 degrees for that. All right, good. So uh, we're going to go into hip, ex uh, hip adduction. Go ahead and lay on your back now and you put the pillow under your head. Okay, so I'm going to measure this leg right here. So let's bring this leg off. Okay. Yeah, you might wanna get right in the middle, good. Okay. So we're going to start off, what's in your pocket? <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna start this at a 90 between the, um, her axis is going to be on the measuring legs ASIS. The stationary arm is going to be on the opposite ASIS. Right here, good. And should start at 90. The movable arms axis is gonna to head to the midline of the femur or the center of the patella. Okay, Melissa, go ahead and slide your foot in. 
as much as you can. Good, relax. Okay, so that was, here's my thing, about, about 15 degrees. Okay, go ahead, relax. Good, and that was about 19 degrees. Okay, that's it, thank you.